Hi. Welcome to step one of the Top Solid Modeling Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to create your first part design document. From there, we'll progress into building your first sketch, which will be comprised of circles and arcs and some construction geometry. We'll also review how to trim curves together. Finally, we'll end up in the extrude command where you will create your first solid model. Let's see how it all works. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new design document. The easiest way to do this is to just use your right-click contextual menu. Now, it is my suggestion that you do your practice within the practice folder of the giving project tutorial. So in this case, under the solid modeling section, go down to the B-practice folder, right mouse button click, and choose part. Here we're going to choose a blank template and validate. Like that, we now have a new part. And here, we're going to just call this Solid Modeling. We don't care about the name right now. This is just what it is. Next, what I want to do is create my first sketch. So to do that, I'm going to either use the right-click contextual menu, the pencil, or I can directly select on any one of the sketch icons that are lit up right here. For example, if I want to draw a circle, boom, it goes right into the circle command. Circle is actually where we want to start. Now in this case, the print says that we need to drive the circle by radius, and that the radius is going to be 3 quarters of an inch, and that first circle is going to be right at our 0, 0. Now I'm going to zoom up a little bit here. It's important to know something. Notice here when I'm on the axis, I get a little circle right there where it's attached to the axis, and if I go to here I get the same thing. If I come to the intersection, you'll see a little cross there. That tells you that you're snapping to the intersection of 0, 0. Perfect. Next what I want to do is draw two more circles. Their radiuses are going to be 0.4375. I'm going to put one down over here and another one down over here. Now we're going to learn how to use construction geometry. First I'm going to activate construction up here and then I'm going to go to the line tool and I'm going to simply snap a point between each circle. Now construction geometry is a very useful way of constraining other geometries but what's cool about construction geometry is that the modeling steps will ignore it. Here what we want to do is we want to start adding constraints such as an angle. So I'm going to select that axis to that construction geometry and here we're looking for an angle of 5 degrees. I'm going to do another one from here to here and this time we want a different angle. We want 30 degrees. Next what we want is to set the length of this line but I don't want it measured this way. I want it measured aligned like that. So I move my mouse until I get the dimension as I want it and I want that to be two and a half inches. Next I want to do the same thing over here and that one should be 1 inch 875. Perfect. Now the last step we have to do creation wise is to create some arcs. So let's go to our arc command. Oops, I just noticed that I'm still in construction mode. I don't want that so I'm going to go ahead and turn that mode off and then I'm going to go ahead and set my radius to be 5 inches. Perfect. Now you'll notice that I'm going in a counterclockwise direction with this. This just helps you understand the direction the arc is being drawn. So if I select from here to here, it creates my arc tangent. Perfect. If I go here to here, oops, the curvature is going the wrong way. Now what do I do? Well, as it turns out, I can select here, right click, and I can choose symmetric, and that'll flip the curvature of the arc. I'm going to go back to arc, switch to 4 inches, and I'm going to build my arc from here to here and from here to here. Perfect. The last thing I need to do is trim everything together, so I'm going to go to trim. Now in this case, profile versus segment trimming doesn't make much difference. They're both going to get the same thing, so I'm just going to leave it where it's at. And I can either click on the section I want to keep or delete. In this case, I'll keep it on delete. So I'm going to select right here, I'm going to select there, there, and there. Like that, I have my perfectly defined sketch. The last thing I need to do is extrude this. To do that, 
I can get to the extrude function one of a couple of ways. I can right mouse button click, choose extrude from the contextual menu. I can go to the shape icon bar, choose extrude there. I can go to the shape pull down menu and choose extrude. As you can see, there is many different ways to get to the same finish. So here I'm going to go choose extrude. Like that, top solid puts me in an extrude mode. Now the last time I was playing with this command, I was building a surface. So I'm going to uncheck surface there. Now I've decided I want to extrude down to a half of an inch and then validate. And like that, you've just accomplished step one of this solid modeling tutorial. Remember to save your work between each of these tutorial steps.